Hello everyone, Krungler here. Today's video is a response to Game Economist's video on the Lance that he struggled to put out a few days ago. Uh, or a few weeks ago, actually. And I thought we would just dive right in and go through and critique his video and also show you some more satisfying Lance gameplay in the background from yours truly uh, while we're at it. So yeah, this is just kind of like a half-scripted video. I didn't want to put too much effort into it, but... You know, I, I jotted down a few notes, so we're just going to read off here. So yeah, let's just dive right in. Let's let's sink our teeth into the story of Goldilocks Economist and the eight inexperienced complaints from uh, this fellow Lance user. So his first argument, number one, the weapon is too slow. Excuse me. He argues that the lance is too slow of a weapon, and it, you know, he says that it lacks mobility, it's not mobile enough for him. And then he goes on to say that other lance mains say that it's a mobile weapon, but he refutes it with no evidence to back it up. You see, lance is a mobile, it's a very mobile weapon. You can sprint and close the distance in two moves, either dash attack or guard dash. Allows you safe, free damage and protective evasion around the monster to get to the part that you need to go to. So Lance is actually a highly mobile weapon. It's the fly-on-shit, so to speak. It's a face tank weapon. I have hardly ever find it hard, except for times in multiplayer where, you know, I, I can't reach the face or the best place that I need to be. Granted, in multiplayer, you know, I usually just go for the legs and I act as a, as a trip. You know, a trip for the monster. So, you know, there's, there's places even in multiplayer, you know, where you can hug onto pretty easily. You just to take advantage of whatever part that you can get access to. And especially the fact with the counter clutch claw move, which, you know, it, it's sad that that's the own, one of the few and only, you know, additions to Lance since Iceborne. I get it. But, you know, just take advantage. Lance has every tool it needs to take advantage of where it's at and excel in those areas. Next point. Number two. Lance is too slow to sheath. Yes, yes it is, I agree. So don't sheath it during battle. Almost every experienced Lance main would know this, something Goldilocks here doesn't quite understand. A good Lance main should only have a sh to sheath once the monster is running away or is dead. Granted, there's special scenarios where, you know, sheathing is... A and sheathing and dodging away or doing whatever is a better alternative, you know, to just sitting there and guarding and, you know, taking chip damage, etc., you know, but yeah, you know, this, you know that weapons have weaknesses and strengths. So you need to know these things in order, how's the best way that I can work around this? The best alternative is, you know, don't sheet the weapon at the worst moment possible, you know? Anyway, we can pretty much nail down this point as easy as, you know, don't sheath, be smart, when, you know, when you're going to sheath, and when you're not. Alright, uh, number three. Lance forces you to use the shield, and you cannot dodge effectively with it. So his whole opening thesis, the title of the video, is him trying to prove that Lance is not a defensive weapon. But then he argues that it forces you to use the shield, and evading is not an effective option. Using a shield... Shields are meant for defense. They protect you. You use it to block something that is coming at you. That's the whole point of a shield, and the lance has a shield in its kit. So what is this point? This is going against the main thesis of lance is not a defensive weapon. The fact that you have to use a defensive option adds to the point that, yes, it has defensive capabilities. So there's, there's, there's a lot of hypocrisy in this, but let's, let's dig deeper, all right? He goes on to say that Lance is forced to guard and take dreaded chip damage, which forces you to use a health augment, which he goes on to say every weapon uses a health augment anyways, so he shuts it down at this point. So the Lance is not a defensive weapon because it forces you to block rather than evade? What is this point? And because you have a shield that takes hardly any chip damage in the first place, and using a health regen negates that chip, you know, that keeps you safe, automatically destroys this whole weird hypocrisy point that he makes. So, I don't need to really go further on that. 
Um, these two points, four and five, are conjoined, so I'll just put them together. It's something he kind of did and kind of didn't. Uh, okay, uh, Lance can't guard everything, and you have to build for guard. He complains that Lance is bad at guarding because you need to put on the guard skill and guard up to withstand certain attacks. And, you know, some attacks from three certain monsters you can't even block at all. Which on Monster Hunter with pin attacks that go through guard up, I agree, that, that is pretty stupid. But honestly, they are avoidable. So just dodge and dash away from them. It, it, you have options. Anyways, he talks about how, how stupid that Lance has to use a skill that empowers the guard function. And then he starts listing off a bunch of stupid skills that he'd like the ability to put on other weapons that he couldn't do with Lance, like Wide Range and Divine Blessing. Which, you know, Divine Blessing pretty much is the same thing as building for guard, except, you know, you don't fall over. This whole section is practically useless because the builds that he's mentioning do not make sense. Let, how about this? To break it down, just about every weapon has skills in its meta that it's forced to use. Great sword with focus, switch axe with power prolonger, gun lance with artillery, etc. It's the same thing as building for guard on lance. And with the latest lance metas and master's touch builds, you can have every damage skill you need on, on the lance build with 100% affinity. Agitator 7, Attack Boost 7, and Peak Performance 3 can all be put on one Master's Touch build, and you can have Guard 5 on it. Like, holy shit. That is a fucking dream build. That's, that's the dream cozy efficiency build for Lance. What more could you want? And you can even have Guard Up and Offensive Guard. I, I've, I even show one of these builds in, the, in one of the clips that we have here. So this whole this whole point that he makes about how guard is very expensive just indicates how far he is in the game and how, you know, if you're lacking resources to make the builds. And also just one thing that really irritates me is that he doesn't go into the research. The research that he does. If I say I, the Krungler, go out and say I'm going to put out a weapon review video. Well, one of the number of things I think I would do if it was a weapon completely out of my experience, and even with Lance being in my experience, if I were to do a video like this, I wouldn't put in all my thoughts of the Lance. In fact, I would have invited other speedrunners to give their take, because it's a very mixed bag, and in fact, a lot of the competition in Lance speedruns, you know, these days, you know, the competition's almost dead. There's only a few of us runners left that actually run the Lance these days. So, yeah, I, I, I think, you know, you, if you want to do a video like this, you need to be experienced. You need to know what you're talking about and have resource avail like resources and information available to add in, not your, just your personal take. That's it. By watching the clips in his videos and the points that he's making, it looks like he picked up the weapon yesterday and, you know, just needed to put out a video. I think it was a complete waste of 20 minutes of his viewer's time. Anyways, next point, because this one's very special. Number six, you have to build for a crit boost setup. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Crit boost is an amazing skill. It should find its way into almost every Lance build, excluding, you know, or every build for almost every weapon. You know, excluding, you know, the special things like long shelling gun lances, you know, stuff that will not crit. I don't think I really need to go further on this stupid argument, but I will regardless. Lance is a straightforward weapon, literally. It's the most accurate melee weapon in the game. It's fast, it has direct attacks, there's no wide slash where you can, you know, hit something inconvenient. You know, you're going to be going after nothing but those weak parts. And it's a heavy weapon that can make weak spots easiest. It's quick, it's fast, it's hard hitting. And you can hard target the, these weak spots wherever it is. He says that you have to sacrifice either defense or offense because of building for guard and whatever. But we've already disproved that with the builds that already exist. I.e., you know, the build that I've shown in some of these clips and, you know, the builds, the builds that I share around the community. Including just from other speedrunners as well, like... Holy shit, look, 
look around, look around at the community and see what people make. You know, if you can't build a build yourself, that's fine. Just look to see what the rest of the community has. Point number seven, you don't recover enough health from the health augment. This is silly because yes, you do. <laughs> because the game economist doesn't realize that, you know, it's a percentage of how much damage you deal in one hit that will be returned to you as health. Pre-Iceborne, I think it was 10% damage you dealt, you know, returned, um, was returned to you in health. So, you know, you, you deal 100 damage, you're going to get 10 health back. You deal, you know, 220, so on and so forth. I think now in Iceborne, it's 8%, but with the increase in damage, it's kind of no different. Um, you know, this this is something that someone who builds too defensively would say. You know, they're not getting enough health return on health augment. Well, that's because it's it's solely centered around damage. So yeah, since the game economist is really struggling to balance his defense and offense, he you know he doesn't really know what he's actually missing. Uh, number eight, players can activate guard. And yes, this is true. It's annoying, but it's not something Lance struggles with alone. It's no different than any ordinary weapon, you know, getting flinched by a longsword god, becoming vulnerable to any attack. You know, the simple solution is to actively just avoid other players. Hell, Lance is a great multiplayer weapon to target legs with. Same with Gun Lance, you know, build up that trip damage, target wings, target tail. There's many places that the Lance can go that other players aren't. So I don't really see the see the issue here. So that's pretty much all his points, uh, arguments knocked down and toppled by someone who actually uses the weapon and has enough of a brain to see the simple math problems and solve them. All of his gripes is him just really reaching for points to complain about, so that we could waste our time and watch a 20 minute video so he could get ad revenue off it. Uh, so yeah, it was just a really pointless video of an inexperienced Lance main trying really hard to reach for points to complain about. I don't think there was anything worth of substance to really take away from it, other than besides, you know, Lance mains are cl crying out for some, a change in terms of buffs, just to damage, honestly damage. That's all we really need as, you know, Lance has really fallen behind all the other weapons, but it's just in the damage department, really. I just don't think Lance has scaled well with, uh, with Master Rank. That's about it. You know, I do agree Lance has its issues, but everything that he listed off is only the issues of an inexperienced Lance user. And that's why, if you're going to make a review on a weapon, you know, make sure that you've used it for a long time and you have the experience necessary to make a competent video. Thank you everyone so much for watching.